Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the weekly evolutionary astrology forecast <clears throat> and it's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure talking about the celestial configurations with you and I want to thank you for listening and sharing these videos and uh, commenting on them and of course liking them. They help these videos get exposed to more people. And that's great, and that's something I cannot do personally. I cannot share them personally because Facebook uh, doesn't like that. So every share you make is is amazing. So the celestial sphere above our heads. This is a sensitive time and a wonderful time altogether. It's a time of fluctuation and change within relationships. Of course, we had the precursor already with the Mars squaring Venus in the past weeks and the passion and uh, ignition of emotion and creativity that it has brought up within relationships the need for independence the need for striking it out on my own sometime or from uh, drawing free from uh, from uh, an embrace that has become suffocating and I need to take things forward. And a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends have been going, going through things in their relationships and certainly contemplating things and things have been heating up. This week we have a triple conjunction in the sky between Mercury, the planet of communication, of our thoughts, of our words, the way we navigate our life forward, Venus, the planet of relationships and satisfaction, the way we feel and value ourselves and, and our relationships. And of course, income as well as part of the things that satisfy us. And Chiron, the wounded healer. They're all meeting in the sky on Sunday, the 4th of March. The same day that the sun is conjuncting Neptune. And I have an astrologer colleague who commented on one of my videos last week and had a wonderful analysis unfortunately it's in Hebrew so you can't read it but he's, he talked about how all that Piscean energy in the last few weeks have been intensifying the possibility for victimization and of course as I said in the last video we saw the shooting in the States uh, with the square between Mars and, and Neptune. And all of these stars in Pisces really intensified the sensitivity of us all, you know. And we could all just, you know, tears can wallow up and we can feel swamped with feelings, emotions, um, empathy towards suffering. We could see something on TV and well up. We can see a Disney movie or a cute kid and just, you know, have this. And we can get very angry very fast as well. And we can hurt faster. You know, it's a two-way street. When an animal is afraid or hurt, it becomes violent in nature. And we are animals ourselves. And we act the same. So through this week, we really have to pay attention to how we talk, how we speak, how we communicate with our loved ones, with our friends, with our colleagues, with our children, with our families, <coughs> how we state things and are we aware of the consequences and the feelings that they produce and the people hearing them. This is an amazing time to talk about the things that pain us and ache us and, and trouble us. To talk about these hurt feelings that we carry inside, but do it respectfully. Do it with a sense of respect towards the people in your life, towards yourself. See it within the big context of things, of you wanting to better that relationship and not concentrating on the drama at hand. Do that and you are within a wonderful period to heal those wounds to purify these pastoring uh, uh, wounds and and really clean that pollution from your emotional life but if we're not careful this is a time that we can create 
more wounds and another scar in that same place that we know so very well within our lives, within our relationships. So Sunday the 4th we have Neptune in conjunction with the Sun and Venus, Mercury, Chiron conjunction. Very sensitive day. Very sensitive day and, in a, and a very intuitive day. Very creative day. A great day to be more passive. A great day to be at one with the world. Do some meditation. Draw a picture. Sculpt something. Go out for a walk. Just become more feminine on that day. Draw out your feminine sides. Being softer and being kinder is being stronger. Remember that. Only because you are strong, you're able to be more open and vulnerable. Um, I didn't say anything about Saturday the 3rd. Saturday the 3rd, we have the moon square Saturn. Uh, so it's a bit of a judgmental day, a day that we could feel not so sure about ourselves and not have the same confidence that we usually do. So just pay attention to that. We could be... Um, we could be a little bit too too strong and and too tight on Saturday the 3rd. And the same goes for Sunday the 4th that I've been talking about, that triple conjunction and the conjunction of Neptune and the Moon. We have the Moon squaring Pluto on that day. So don't be too total or too dramatic, as I said before. Don't be too obsessed about your own ideas and thoughts. Monday the 5th, <coughs> we have the Moon opposite Uranus and sextile Mars, very energetic day, a great day to take things forward within groups, to think about your own role within the group, of how you act within the group, of what you, how you support the group, how the group supports you, and to utilize other people around you to take things forward. <clears throat> Just be careful because we can be with a short temper on that day and not a lot of patience. The sixth <clears throat> is already starting a few days that have much more positive energies in the sky. Mercury enters Aries. It's the first sparrow of many planets that are going to enter Aries and bring a much more assertive, impulsive and, and energetic feeling to us all and lift us from our forgetfulness and passivity and... and, and you know, just wanting to lay back and, and be at one with it all that we've been experiencing with that Pisces in the sky all the time. And of course, that sensitivity and, and, and victimization if we are talking about the extreme unpositive aspects of it. So we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to take our own destiny into our own hands and, and march forward with a more... Aries energy, but when when Mercury, the planet of thoughts and words, goes into Aries, we really have to be careful with how we speak, how we walk forward, how we navigate our life, what we're thinking about, and not be too impulsive. But it is about affirmative action. It is about taking our life forward. The moon is going to be trining the sun and Neptune and sextiling Saturn. It's a good day. In regards to your careers as well, taking things forward, it's a, it's a, it could be in a harmonious day between different parts of your personality, the feminine and the masculine within you, or feminine masculine within your environment. Generally a good day. The seventh is as well. Venus enters Aries on that day as well. And Venus in Aries can be too impulsive, can want things to satisfy her now and not have the patience or the wisdom to wait strategically for things. Other than that, it is about forward movement when in your relationships or the way you satisfy yourself in your life. Just balance it out and don't be too impulsive. Use your head as well. And <clears throat> Jupiter is going to conjunct the moon. They are in Scorpio, so don't be too total. Don't be too obsessed about things. Don't be too dramatic. But if you are in for some intimate relationships on Wednesday night or hosting people or just diving into a new mass of knowledge that can expand your horizons or doing something spiritual. Um, 
or just enjoying some intimate time with your loved one, it could be an amazing night. Also through uh, Thursday morning or the 8th up to the early morn, and we're talking Central European time, so if you want to convert that to United States time, that would be the day of the 7th up to late night of the 7th, Wednesday the 7th. And of course, if you are in Europe, it's going to go on until Thursday morning, the 8th. And then the moon is going to be in a grand trine together with Venus and Mercury and Ceres, Demeter, the goddess of fertility and nature. Just a wonderful time to concentrate on harmony and the blissfulness and, and everything that we have in our life and enjoy it. Friday the 9th is already a little bit more edgy. Jupiter is turning retrograde. It's going to be retrograde until mid-July. And any planet goes in, going retrograde is about providing a different aspect, a different viewpoint to what that planet represents in your life and in your charts. And generally speaking, Jupiter is about our belief, the truth that we hold sacred, the, the, the knowledge that we walk towards and that we preach. And this is about putting a question mark about it all and understanding that we can, by adapting a different viewpoint, we can see blind spots we haven't seen before. What we need to be careful of is not throwing the baby away with the bathwater. We are here to adapt and evolve our beliefs and, and, and the way we see the world and our wisdom all the time. But it's not about canceling our previous wisdom or our previous beliefs just helping them evolve okay so finding out that you've been wrong about something doesn't mean that you've been wrong about everything so jupiter is turning retrograde on friday the 9th and the moon is going to square neptune sun sensitive day day that we could be a little discombobulated and and just feel not as strong as we would have good day to have a lower key and, and just, uh, you know, move along the energies gently. And Saturday is pretty much the same, the 10th. And Mars is conjuncting the moon, so be careful from aggressiveness. Don't be too impulsive. There's a lot of energy in the air, but just know how to channel it. Channel it into some physical activity. Channel it into some creative endeavor. Um, Challenge, uh, ch uh, channel it towards some sensuality, but just be careful not to uh, uh, become aggressive on that day or, or, or react to the aggression that you might be getting from the world on that day and utilize it. And the moon is going to square that Chiron, Mercury, Venus. So it's going to fuel that conjunction so Saturday can be a wonderful day to state things. Just be mindful of how you're stating them. It's a wonderful time to talk about things, to purify things, to heal things within relationships. Just be respectful and thankful for the people you have in your life and for everything that you have in your life. And that's about everything I wanted to say about this week. And for private consultations, for private lessons, for a group in English opening soon for beginners in evolutionary astrology to study with me from wherever you are around the world through the computer or your smartphone and for intermediate groups feel free to contact me I want to thank you and wish you all a beautiful week ahead this is Boaz Fader goodbye